Hello everybody and welcome back to the Literal Gamer 81 channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to install Haya Custom Firmware on your Nintendo DSi. So let's get started. So what you will need is your homebrew Nintendo DSi, a SD card, or a micro SD card with a micro SD card adapter. Now, if you're going to use a micro SD card with a micro SD card adapter, you want to make sure the adapter is not a Kingston adapter because Kingston SD cards and micro SD card adapters tend to act, or the just the micro SD card itself tend to act up with files, and they just don't. They just and the files just end up not working properly. So try to make sure. So make sure your micro SD card or micro SD card adapter is not a Kingston one. And you will also need a computer with a with a SD card slot. Now if your computer only has a micro SD card slot and you're using an SD card or your computer doesn't have any slot for micro SD card or SD card, you want to get an adapter such as one of these, which I'll leave a link in the description to so that you can get one. Now, so now what you want it so now we want to make sure your so now you want to make sure your Nintendo DSi is homebrewed with unlaunch. So what you want to do, do you want to take your SD card, put it into your DSi, turn it on, and then here, and then here. So if you hold A, while you turn it on. If if you get this menu. You have unlaunch installed, and if you see Twilight Menu Plus Plus on your SD card, you you also have Twilight Menu installed. So if you see Twilight Menu Plus Plus, you also have Twilight Menu on your SD card, which means you have everything necessary to install unlaunch. Now, if you don't have any any of these files and you just get booted straight and you just have the normal DS startup, I'll leave I'll leave a card up here. So that you can follow my tutorial on how to install un Twilight Menu Plus Plus and Unlaunch on your Nintendo DSi, and I'll also leave a link in the description so that you can so that you can uh, f see my video. So, so once you've made sure that your Nintendo DSi has n uh, no has Unlaunch and Twilight Menu Plus Plus, you want to turn your DS off, and then you're gonna take your SD card. Or micro SD card with micro SD card adapter, and you're gonna go put them into your computer. So once you made sure your DSi has unlaunch and Twilight Menu Plus Plus installed, you wanna take your SD card and put it into your computer either via the slot that it has on its that it has built in, or to your adapter. You just put it in, and then when this file explorer window pops up, just close out of that, and then go to your internet browser. And you want to go to github.com slash mondle slash haya cfw dash helper slash releases, which I'll leave a link in the description to. And then you want to click, and then on the latest version, which is version 3.6.8 as of recording this, you want to go, you want to click haya cfw slash helper slash win dot zip and click on it. And then it will start installing, I mean downloading. And then once it's done, open your file explorer and then go to your downloads. Right click on it and click ex and then click extract here. And then it's going to give you these two files. Open up the one that says hi it's going to give you these two. It's going to, it's gonna be a folder and an application. Run the application. And then here you wanna click on this on this like on this square with three dots. So click on it. And then here you wanna select your you wanna select your a NAND backup from your DSi. So go to wherever you have it. So I have it in a folder on my desktop. Then open up the the NAND backup and click NAND.bin and then click open. And then here there's an option to install the latest Twilight Menu Plus Plus. So if you install this, it might not work with some of like the things that we're gonna do, like installing ROM hacks on your DSi. So I'm just I'm not gonna check that. But if you want the latest version, you can you can do that and then click start. Click OK, and then you have to select your SD card. Click Select Folder, and then it is going to start ins in installing the latest um, 
the latest uh, the latest version of Pi CFW, and then it's going to start extracting it. So I'll be back with you guys when this is finished. So once the file is done installing, I mean, well, once the custom firmware is done installing on your SD card, it should say eject your SD card and insert it into your DSI. So once it, once that shows up, you want to click close, and then back here on this other tab, click quit, and then it's going to close the application. And now you can close out of all your tabs, and then down here, or or there's like the little arrow that's pointing up, that's to show the hidden icons. Click on click on like the little USB stick, and then click on your SD card. And now you want to take your SD card out, and you're going to go put it into your DSI. So once you've put the files for Hiya Custom Firmware on your SD card, you want to take your SD card, and you want to put it into your DSI. So let me do that real quick. Once it's in, hold A, and turn on the console, or the DSI. And then here, scroll, so you should be booted into unlaunch. So let's just wait for it to... Okay, so scroll down until you see options, press A, then open it again, press A. Then scroll down until you see high CFW, press A there. Then scroll down to save an exit. And then turn the console off. And then turn it back on. And this menu should pop up. Now here, it'll you'll the it the splash on and on, off and on. It should be red, so press A to, to press on, and then press select, and then if after a little bit, this should pop up, and then you should be booted into custom firmware. And now right here, there should be like a present, and then when you open it up, it's going to be Twilight Menu Plus Plus, and then here is Twilight, and then this is Twilight Menu Plus Plus Last Run ROM. So like let's say you were playing New Super Mario Bros. DS, you and then once you finish playing, you turn your DS off, and you, and you want to play Super Mario, New Super Mario Bros. DS again, but you don't want to go back into the menu and select the ROM, you can just open this app up, and it will, it, it will instantly oh, send you to, to, um, to the game. Now, if you still don't boot up a game, such, such as me, since, like, since I haven't booted up a game, when you boot this up, it'll just load in a Twilight menu. As you can see, it just loads in a Twilight menu. But now that you have done this, you now have custom firmware installed on your Nintendo DSi. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If if you did enjoy this video, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a ton. And I'm sorry for not making that ROMs video, but I promise I'll make that in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.